I know. I'm, I'm just looking for deals, yeah. you know. I'm not, I no, no, but I mean, he, he lived there. And he moved there. Uh -huh. What the what possession to move there? Why, I, all, the, all I, the only city I had in my mind that you told us was to stay away from was Stockton. Stockton is a, a bigger shithole. Okay, California. Yeah, yeah, he, he's told yeah, me, yeah, as you stay away from that. Uh, okay. And we had a guy from Stockton last year, and I said, is there still a Motel 6? And he looked at me and says, yeah. And I said, is the O in Motel still out the line? He looked at me again and he said, yeah. That line has been out since 1985. <laughs> And he said, uh, and I says, and I described it because I stayed in it. Mm -hmm. We're looking at oil production there because it's oil. Uh -huh. And he said, it hasn't changed a bit. And he says, it's the same owner. Wow. And I said that, uh, but of course, when I was there, it was uh, 18 bucks a night, something like that. Man. And he said, oh, no, 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 it's uh, $65 a night. <laughs> And I said, well, it wasn't worth 18, so it can't be worth 65. 65 is still bad. That's not a good deal. Because we added this up, but is there something wrong with the gas? Yeah? It's just fucking freezing. The gas is not. Yeah. Well, the radiation is on last night as well. The radiator? Yeah. It wasn't on. It wasn't on. Okay. Yeah, All right. It's being cheap. That's good. This is the, the, the 2018. Um, Profit and loss statement, guys. So what we're looking at here is the income. Uh, I'm spending called top line six hundred and twenty-three thousand. Pay expenses as I go through. You see here utilities, all that stuff. Okay, is one hundred thirty-five. One hundred thirty-five. Um, How much was your revenue? Ninety-seven. Okay. Six point three. Six point three. So revenue, yeah, correct. Six twenty three. The bigger deal we were doing right now, which was a hundred bed right now, it, 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 it didn't pan out. It's not panning out, and that red flagged it right away. Damn, you know. We want to do that, but there's a lot of bells and whistles. But sorry, disappoint you. Yeah, it's a okay. You saved yourself quite a long time. Yeah, but. Expenses? Three forty three forty nine. Yeah. Four eighty seven. Expenses are four eighty seven. Zero oh, and the EVO is no expenses four eighty seven. Right here on the screen. Right here. Oh sorry, that's me, yeah. Right here, look. Expense four eighty seven zero three zero. Total expense. Yeah, it's Wait, four, you guys four eighty nine. Yes. What is it? What is it? Four eighty seven zero three zero. It's total expenses. That's what it is. And the EVSO was 135970. 135970. 970. And these come out from a broker? Yeah, because they, they provided all the information that sent it off for the case study. Um, and I did bring two of the deals that I'm working on, but <laughs> that threw them out. So. This doesn't look too bad. Okay. Yeah. Alright, what else are we looking for? That's that's the figure they've given you. Mm -hmm. So next. Low battery. Well, you still got ten minutes. Uh, <laughs> still got ten minutes. Do you have the balance sheet here? No. This is all they're giving me and a lot so of times. That's one, one of the things. Ask for the balance sheet because you get to see the cash and the debt. This is what I deal with when I ask them for that. Or even the tax returns. They tell me uh, we'd like to uh, offer based off of what we provided. So what, what's my counter? Well, now the counter is and uh, sell it to somebody else. So yeah. next, you're not that, giving me the information, and especially I can't make a decision based on that. So yeah, you can't make okay. the decision based on PNL. That's why there is a balance sheet. Okay, well, uh, Mr. Vinay, what does uh, I see this in my US deals tax return? What does what does that include? Like in Asia or in Europe, it's a audited financial statement, which includes no, and that's not the in, a tax in, return in America. Is tax return is you turn into the internal revenue. So what do you need to submit? You need to submit the balance sheet, right? No, no, the tax return will just have a top line, expenses, write-off, um, the uh, income before taxes and income after taxes. So p and No, yeah, exactly. Just a P&L. Yeah. But you can ask, you should be asking for the balance sheet. Well, you, you, yeah, yes, you can, but I mean, uh, 99 pe times out of 100, uh, the theory is people will not lie about their taxes. Correct. Okay, so uh, when you take, see what the bottom line is, 
uh, and uh, you know lose that one and a half. If it's a million dollars, they're paying uh, tax on a million dollars. The cash flow is probably something on the order of a million and a half. Mm -hmm. And then, so then you you do uh, the free cash flow. Then you do the free cash flow. And that's what Josh asks for. He asks for the uh, tax returns. Actually, tax returns can be 40, 50, 60 pages thick with all the, the right, you said, But I mean, uh, no, I, I, I only want the summary. Sorry. I only want the summary. But I don't know whether that applies to, you know, in the low end of the of the segment. But as the deals get bigger, you need to be worried about how much debt is on the post. Oh, so sure, can, sure. Take it off the Yeah, but I, the, uh, and when Josh asks for the tax returns, he gets the tax returns and then uh, he asks uh, for a summary of the financials. And the summary of the financials will list all the debt. And, and the question is, is this all the debt that's incurred with the transaction? Is mm -hmm. this all the debt? And depending if you're buying assets, you don't care because you're not buying the debt. But if you normally, nine times out of ten, you're going to be buying a company in whatever form, either a limited liability company or a, a GmbH in Germany. And so it'll, uh, it'll, it'll become associated um, with uh, the debt. Now, and what a lot of the owners want to do is they'll sell you the company, but they strip out the cash. They'll keep let you keep the debt yeah. and for cash. Yeah, yeah, and, and that is fine. But then uh, you you can also say you also clean up the debt. Yeah, exactly. So my valuation is going to be so either I pay you less the debt, or I pay you the uh, I, or I settle your debt for you, oh, yeah. but I pay you less. Net of debt. Yeah, net of debt. Um, and some people that are unsophisticated, you know, they some of the kids have, have bought companies with debt and all the cash stripped out. So you see the other way around. So right. it's a double negative whammy. The seller has taken out the cash and left off all the debt. Right. So you don't get the cash, but you're inheriting all the debt. And in this particular case, the numbers don't pan out, but the seller's more than hella motivated. The guy wants it off his hands. So we were trying to figure out if we could make the deal work and present it to the group as if we could make the deal work. 100% more spots. Yeah, he's more than willing on 100%. I told you that in the Zoom speech. Yeah. More than willing, but um, the numbers don't really look too good. So, uh, so the, two, the, two, uh, the first box checks, but... Uh, okay, when well, they look too good based on what? Uh, it's negative. He, he has, every year he's added on additions, improvements to the property. He's expanded it to where he owns a whole block now. And on the, on the balance sheets or on the, on the uh, income statements, it looks bad because he put a lot of money in to improvements. So do we add a take Well, I mean, then, 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 not, not dissimilar to the black deal. You know, it doesn't pan out, but I mean, well, I'll pay you out of uh, just the earn out. Yeah. And, uh, you know, some of these people, I mean, the real desperate, mm -hmm. motivated sellers, they just want to walk away. You never know unless you ask. Okay. I, I, uh, that's I mean, a tough call. <laughs> Uh, and that's not what we're looking for, I guess, based on the QLA model, right? Cash flow has color debt based on... Yeah, but if there's no debt, if you're not... You're talking about the existing debt on the property. Yeah. Right. They go, oh, so he's already got debt. So he doesn't know that because he hasn't given him the uh, okay. Well, you don't know. No, yeah, well, then, well, then, uh, so, so here, in Jeremy's case, it's wonderful. The guy, the seller, is saying, oh, I've done all this uh, improvements. So that's why I've got a negative EBITDA. Mm -hmm. If you've done all these improvements, then why the hell are you getting rid of the company? You've done all this. Now you're dumping it on me. Mm -hmm. That's not, not a negative to improve a company. Most companies do that. Yeah. No, 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 no. Push and they do expenses on it to sell it for a higher amount. Yeah, yeah, Ross. But the, the negative is the negative EBITDA. He's got a negative EBITDA. So you're saying the negative EBITDA came from improvements on the company. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, so he's saying he's saying that all is negative selling point. No, no, it's not a negative selling point. The thing is, he's got a negative EBITDA because his expenses went about revenue, right? Yes. Okay, Correct. so he's explaining to Jeremy all these expenses I've incurred because I'm solidifying the property infrastructure. Right, meaning he's he's added beds. He's at, he's he continues to he's add adding all that beds. So then, why is he selling off the company? Because now is the time for him to reap the benefit because of his age. That's what I'm, he's motivated. That's what he's what because of his age. Yeah, so that's the occupancy. Okay, that's you're gonna laugh, Mr. P. It's at uh, fifty six percent. Fifty six percent occupancy. He's dying. Fifty six percent occupancy. Meaning what, Mr. P? Literally, or, or the business he drug well, out? No, he drug out. Well, you know, you can uh, uh, put a business uh, uh, under by over, uh, you know, um, over expanding. If he doesn't have the market to over expand. Yeah. you know, and there's a lot of bells and whistles because there's a, 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 a that local hospital. 
has just joined forces and built a very, very big assisted living facility that's going to open this year in 19. And all his people are going to go there. Going over there. So now well, I guess. Well, then okay, well, even less reason to buy it. Yeah. And his his revenue is very choppy. So there's no there's no predictability on the revenue. And then Jeremy gets stuck in running that business rather than going in and buying more companies. You're you're turning around. So regardless of the size, regardless of what how motivated he is, sometimes. How old is he? He's up there. He's got to be at least. 77, 78, he's up there. He's the one I told you that he brought his kids in there and uh, they've seen a lot of stuff they weren't supposed to see. Now they don't want nothing to do with it. Well, I mean, most of the kids, well, his kids would be 50. They're in their yeah, yeah, late 30s, 40s. 40s yep. Yeah. And uh, now they don't they don't want nothing to do with it. And then I come along, but the numbers have to still stack up. Like yeah, I said. mean, you, 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 without knowing what the debt service is, without the debt, then that's probably why they're not showing it to you. But the uh, well, the broker mentioned it's a still a two point four million dollar loan uh, balance. Okay. Well, I mean, reverse engineer, how much uh, income do you have to have to service two point four million? I'm using power. That help me out here, man. No, 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 no. At this point in time, he doesn't have the income. He's, a, he's negative income. How, how much would you do, need? Can we use the trade? How much well? income would you need to would service? You, how, you, how, how much would you need to service? What is say six percent, right? Six percent of what? One hundred fifty grand a year. So you you need about one hundred fifty grand a year mm -hmm. to service the debt. Net, right? Just to, just to service the debt. Just end it. Right? So 150, now you do 1.6 times 150, let's say it's, uh, it's 1.6 times uh, debt service coverage. Then you're talking about $240,000 you have to make in in free cash flow. Yeah. 20 grand a month. The numbers are in that range, but that's speaking not. That is free cash flow. You I guess what, no, no, no. Yeah, I guess we're talking with if occupancy was higher. If, so that's like like a performer we're looking at now. Now okay. You know, okay. So for getting two hundred and forty thousand free cash flow, you got to get twenty thousand a month. Free. So then that means um, <clears throat> twenty percent. If that is twenty percent, then you have to get uh, a million. A million. A million. How about a haircut? And how many how many units or how many beds? A hundred. A hundred beds, a million. So that means uh, ten thousand a bed. Is that right? Well, well, ten thousand a bed and a hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Eight thousand a bed because it's twelve months. Eight thousand. Okay. That's two thousand a week. No, that that thing's underwater. Now, what about a haircut? Because he pays himself, his wife, and, I, and I'm well, no, you. no. Unless he's paying him, you know, he's probably paying him and his wife one hundred and fifty grand. No, I mean, one hundred ninety grand a p. Uh, him and his wife salary. I looked into it. So ninety five each. Not, right. So then I come along. How would you? Yeah, but I mean, it's still you need a million. You need the beds to be producing a million. Um, in revenue to create the 240,000 cash flow. Cash flow to service the 100. Okay, but if we and go that back, would mean it'd have to be 100% occupancy at 2,000 a week. If we go farther back to 16, 15, and 14, he's the revenue's at 2 million and some change. Yeah, but I mean, and the hospital's opening up down the street. That's a concern. Yeah. Okay, well, that's, I mean, that's a major concern. That's why he wants to sell. So Mr. Payne would come along. Not interesting. Next. And his EBITDA is less than 10%. Unlike your this week. He's got 20. Understood, 20, Mr. Payne. Well, that's the deal I brought, Mr. Payne. So okay, <laughs> it's all right. Okay, anyway, present one. Thank you. Okay.